G'day everybody, Cam here from thefreshroom.co.nz and today we are doing a review on Fiberbytes. Let's do this. Alright, if you've not been here before, we talk about tropical fish and aquariums and all sorts of things that are well and truly involved in the aquarium hobby. If you did not know, we're also an online uh, retailer, so you can pick up all your supplies and stuff like that if you're based in New Zealand. Before we go any further on this review, I would just like to have a quick shout out to some of my probably younger subscribers. Um, Sho, Haru and Sala. Hello, I hope you guys are okay. I hope you enjoy this video. You probably won't because I know you're not going to buy any Viper Bites. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the videos that we do. All right, let's get on with the Viper Bites. Okay, with me simply reading the packet, it says a worm like shape, fish attack, and a door, offering excellent growth and form. And as you can see in that picture right there, day one to day 30, which is pretty cool. Um, ingredients fish meal, krill meal, wheat flour. Flat corn, brewers, dried yeast, crush, sorry, cuttlefish meal, wheat germ meal, wheat gluten meal, fish oil, whole crush, silkworm, pupa, well, that's interesting. Hydrolyzed vegetable sauce, polyesters, polyesters, okay. Mealworm, cool. Garlic, chlorine, chloride, vitamin E, and then we get into all the big words that I, oh, whoa, hello, let's go back up again. All the words that I cannot pronounce. So, I have not used this before from my understanding there's a lot of people that absolutely love this stuff and it's pretty good to feed out some of the picky feeders like uh, your pea puffers and stuff like that so I'm gonna feed out some fish that haven't tried it before and we'll see how we go let's do this Well, that didn't take long, they're pretty keen on that. Oh, that's definitely a pass mark for the uh, Tetras. That was almost instantaneous. Excellent. Cardinals in for it. Cardinals are happy as. Black nouns are a little bit standoffish. The Cardinals were definitely keen as soon as it hit the water, so that's a good sign as well. Once again, I'm sorry for how filthy my aquarium is. One day I'll uh, clean it before I do a video on it. Okay, so let's give this a run. Clipping it in again. Everything is very happily taking it. It hasn't been it hasn't been sucked along the tank yet into the filter, which is good. Some is now beginning to blow back, which quite often happens with uh, you know less pellets actually float for quite a long time and get pushed into the into the sump for me, which is a pain. Everything's taking it. The old junior fish keeper wants my attention, obviously. It's the first time these guys have been fed it. They've all taken it straight off, no dramas whatsoever. It's happy days. It's very happy days. Yeah. And the old whiptail's over there having a sniff around.
Mm, I'm still taking it, that's cool. And waiting for more. I better go give the old junior fish keeper a bit of attention because he clearly wants it. Alright. So Kari Vibrobites. Uh, overall I am very happy with this product. Um, as you can see I have seen all of the fish that I have fed it to have taken it fairly easily which I think is a bonus. It's a lot cleaner and tidier than feeding out bloodworms. Um, and fingers crossed it uh, feeds out to some of the more pickier, uh, pickier fish. I have sent a couple of packets around the countryside to a few various people to try out. I'm um, still waiting for the feedback from them. Uh, some of them are feeding slightly more picky fish that really enjoy the likes of bloodworms and stuff like that. So hopefully they come back with thumbs up. And if they do, I'll definitely let you know in the future. But overall, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I think the price of this product is fairly good. I think the quality of this product is fairly good. And um, I definitely will be feeding these to my fish more often. In fact, I'm going to put these into my more regular rotation of food that I feed. I don't think I would use it as a daily food. But I am more than happy to use it as an every other day type of food. I feel that is probably where it goes as opposed to a staple as a staple diet to my fish, but every other day I think it's about where where it is. But overall, I'm really happy with this. I think I'll probably give it eight and a half out of ten, maybe a nine out of ten, something around that mark. It's, it's really good. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, and I'd, like I said, I'll definitely be using it in my own fish room, feeding my own fish.